Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can sign your documents in HelloSign. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at hellosign.com or log into our existing account. As you can see, I'm using free version, but that only provides you with three documents every month for free. If you want to sign more documents, you will just upgrade the plan. It's around $15 per month. But it works uh, the same, you just have more uh, more documents to sign. That's This is perfectly fine if you need just one document once in a while to sign, for example, invoice or something like that. Straight away, we have, have our documents uh, to sign right here. You can upgrade the plan. For example, we can check it. I mean, that's my plan uh, for free. Essentials are $15 per month. You can go back now. That's your account. Create a signature. That's what we want to start. We click on create a signature. Or, as you can see, that's my name. You can add a photo or just basically draw your, your signature. So let's go like this. Let's go with select. Straight away, we have our signature done. We can get free documents and also there are my settings. We can check them as well. You have your profile here. You can change email address, change the password, change the language, company name, job title, and all the other stuff. Example, for example, just for notification, when you are about to send the email to the customer, or, or your employee and basically the lead account and so on. You can uh, do also integrations, for example, with Gmail, Dropbox. So if you want to send, for example, an invoice through Gmail, you will just activate it and uh, HelloSign will do it automatically for you. You can use some other programs for that or some other apps for it. For example, Automate.io or Zapier. There are like uh, HelloSign for Salesforce, very useful. As you can see, Zapier in here as well. So if you want to make more integrations, feel free. Epi, if uh, you want to basically use the Zapier app for integrations, then they will ask you for uh, the second level of authentication through EpiKey. So you just create the EpiKey, you, uh, you copy paste it into Zapier login and you are basically done with the integration. So what we are about to do, let's go and let's start with sign or send uh, our document or we can create a template, but let's do that later. Sign or send. Now we want to go to upload file. Let's go with this one. We have to wait for a second till it's uploaded. Like that, let's go with next. Signer, let's, this be me. Let's go with, uh, Like that. We can add another signer, for example, I don't know, Jessica, email address, like that, for example. We can set the signer order, so which one will be first. So I have to sign it first. And when I sign it, it will go to Jessica straight away. But let's not do that. Let's go with next. And now you can place the field. As you can see, it's me, Matur, and Jessica. So let's go with me and my signature. My signature will go here. We can use this one or we can make a new one. But let's do with one that we already created. As you can see, that's my signature. 
or initials. It's very easy, as you can see. Like that, I know it's not the right way to do it, but just for the show. Now, where our recipients will sign it. Let's go with Jessica and let's make her sign it in here. Like that. And also initials, for example, right under. There could be a date. It's completely up to you. You can pick the font, Cambria, <laughs> let's do 14, date signed, and so on. So let's say this is the way how we want to send it to Jessica. We click next. The signals need to receive a copy. Let's go with no message to senders. Please sign ASAP, message optional, tutorial. Send for signature. Right now, I've sent this uh, request. So let's go to our the other email that I got uh, and made it for Jessica. Most of the time, it will take like four or five minutes to actually arrive to show you how it's done but in the meantime we can start and we can create a template create anyway upload file let's go with the same one uh, that we got before And we can go next, role title, let's go like this, another role. Jessica, for example, next. And same here. As you can see, we can go with my signature. Like that. And this is the form we want to use. So it's, it's going to be only me and place for jessica for example for more business like that like that next no and save the template it's very easy as you can see in the meantime we received an email from uh ourselves yeah, that's, that's a weird way to put it, but that's true. And right here, as you can see, we just need to sign it. And when once we click on the sign, let's go with uh, let's go with Jessica, insert, and Jessica just sign it. Click to initial, Jessica, and the date. It's our date. What we want to do now, we click continue, I agree. And yeah, we can just sign it and that's it. Now we created the template. As you can see, it was very easy. Now we can use the template, we can edit it or duplicate it. If you want to duplicate and just to uh, change the recipient, my documents are in here but yeah I have to sign in again yes we can always check it back or duplicate it it's completely up to you but uh, we are quite limited by our free version so that's about it. You just signed your first documents and we can start all over again. As you can see, we have like two more options or two more tries for hello sign, free website or free uh, signer. You see two signatures request. 
nice to think log out. Yeah, it's very easy to actually use hello sign just to simply sign the documents. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.